the positives in bodybuilding is, is this. What they see is that, that not just trains hard all the time, but he's eating healthy. And it's like a relentless pursuit of what I want. You know, um, they don't see somebody who's talking about, man, I really wish, you know, cause you hear parents complain, but they're not seeing me complain and not doing something about it, you know? And when I tell them, you need to try harder, I can look back and put me as, as they can look and say, you know what, dad's trying harder. When they see me train in the gym, they don't see dad stop when it gets hard. They see him go harder when it gets hard. We, we just came back from Asia, um, you know, Arnold, Hong Kong in, in uh, 2016, August. And it was, it was a crazy ride of emotions because I was on high, man. The second place, I just beat a bunch of guys that beat me earlier that year. And, uh, you know, um, it was a great competition for me. I had never placed that high in the Arnold. So I was super excited. Figured I was going into Olympia with um, a little bit of uh, momentum behind me. And it was uh, Labor Day, Labor Day weekend Sunday. And um, I remember I was, I was just kind of like, I don't feel good. And uh, my wife's like, well, why don't you chill out? And then I said, you know, I, I, I kind of do cardio. And so I tried to do cardio, couldn't finish the cardio. So then like the next day I, I started getting, you know, faint and not being able to um, stay coherent. So they took me over to the walking clinic and they said, well, you know, it's just probably a stomach bug. So, you know, they said, you know, just give it some time, take in fluids, whatever. Um, the next morning I get up and, um, you know, I just wasn't making sense and completely dehydrated. And my sister uh, called me and then uh, she called my, my wife and was like, yeah, we're gonna lose him. You need to get him in the hospital. And uh, so the ambulance came and got me and um, I don't remember a whole lot after that. Um, I just remember laying in the hospital. I was like, the lady was like, well, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm going to do Olympia, so you guys got to fix me so I get out of here. And they're like, your bowels are shut down, your kidneys are in failure, and um, uh, we're worried about you going in a uh, cardiac arrest. And I was like, I don't feel that bad, you know? And, uh, and then um, they were like, you're not going to be out here for a long time. So, you know, I went in and I uh, just kept losing weight. And I went in at 240, came out at like uh, 203. Weirdest moment was when I looked in the um, mirror at home, because you know, you're, you're familiar with the mirror at home and you, because you've looked at it a thousand times, you know, posing. And I'm like, just look frail and skinny, you know? And uh, it sounds funny, 5'7", 203 is not frail and skinny, but to me, to me, it was like completely frail and skinny, you know? And I was just like, uh, you know, wow, that's crazy, you know? Like, messed me up. Sorry. What's up, cook? mindset has always been, it's all about my kids. Monica, is, that's my heart, man. She's, uh, she's everything, you know, she's, she's my oldest. No, seriously, if he stays positive, and he keeps his, uh, Daniel. Danny. You know, so when she was born, it like validated me being important. And then Stevie, he's my uh, oldest son, and he's he's split an image of me. You know, he's um, you would think, <laughs> you would think. Yeah, I mean, everybody that sees him that knew me growing up is like, that's you, that's your twin. Like when you work out. Breaking down, small micro tear in the muscle. And that 
and your body repairs it, and that's how you look at it. A little guy, Christian, you know, he's he's a brainiac, man. He's he's you know, and and he's he's cool, you know, and he's he's all about dad, you know. He's he's you know, mama's boy, but he's he's um he's really you know really he's just an outgoing personality. Always wanting to make people laugh. Can't can't say enough about him. And then my Alana, she's my toughest, you know. She makes daddy work for the affection. She makes daddy, like, my other three, they'll come up to me and hug on me, and dad, I love you. Alana's like, okay, give you a hug, that's enough, you know. Hey, mister, stop performing now. <laughs> you know, she, she's really special. She's just, just an angel, and, um, you know, people meet her, and they just, they're just like, man, she's so much more mature than her age. I think it's because she's the youngest, so she sees all the others trying to catch up. So it was like a blessing in disguise because not only does it get me to appreciate everything I'm doing now more, um, I got more, I got so much more in touch with my, my family again, you know, and uh, like my younger two are like completely night and day different. And then it, 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 you know, me and my wife got closer and so, you know, um, it, you know, it's a blessing, you know, because I, I would, you know, who knows, you know, you just keep going, you keep going, you know, up here, and all you forget, you know, you forget what's really important. Because when that's all gone, they're still here, you know. You know, all of them have actually been on stage. Like, I've been doing it long enough that, you know, like, Monica and Stevie started doing it, you know, when, um, when all I was doing was local guest posings with me, you know. And people were excited to see it because they don't, didn't see it often. Um, but now I make sure that I always put a couple of local guest posings on my calendar for the younger two, and they, they love doing it with Dad. They have a lot of fun with it, and they scream in the audience too, and so you'll hear sometimes in the video them screaming, Go Daddy! And it's like, they're, they're very excited, and they're like, they like the toe touches. And I remember Christian practicing here, and, and my poor parents, they were, they're very conservative and you know, very <laughs> religious, and um, they came over for, I think, Christian's birthday or one of, one of their birthdays, and all of a sudden, uh, Christian's like, oh, let me practice the routine, Mommy, and he stripped down to his underwear because he's used to seeing Fred on stage and, and posing trunks. My parents were just like, what is he doing? <laughs> and then he did the cut for his complete routine, his complete routine. He did like the, the moonwalk, he did the robotics, he tried doing the toe touch, all that stuff in his underwear. My parents were just like, Oh, and we're all cheering and everything. <laughs> I think they were a little concerned, but. <laughs> if it was possible, she'd be at every show. Um, and I know this because uh, last year I was still having issues from the salmonella and um, just after effects, and I just couldn't get it together. Like it was e eating, and I have a good couple weeks and start throwing up again, and my body just wasn't right. and. Uh, I was contemplating just being done, retiring, being done with it. And I remember I just um, woke up one morning, I was like, just let's book the tickets to Chicago and I'll go. I don't need I don't need anybody to go. I, don't need, I just want to go and feel what it's like to get on stage to make sure to kind of get my why back that I was still doing it. And you know, how many hours? 13? 13 hours by herself, just her and two kids driving out to Chicago. You know, much younger too. So um, that's that takes a lot. You know, that's a lot. Uh, her by herself, you know, without hesitation, I'm coming. And I was like, no, I don't think it's a good idea. You need to go by yourself. So I'm coming. She was there, and you know, we we didn't go there with the expectation of doing well, or winning or anything. But she just wanted to be there, and it was it was just an amazing experience. So seeing her out there, and and you know, my family was there rooting for me, and uh, knowing she was there it was. Uh, made it all worth it and I think I was like the happiest guy ever in a second call out because <laughs> I found out, I remembered why I was doing it. So, you know, staying focused on my family, staying focused on her, because I mean, my wife is amazing and I'm very blessed to have her. Um, staying focused on that is what's gonna allow me to be great. And then my daughter said, Dad, I really like to see you win the Arnold. And I really like to see you up top in the Olympia. And Everyone knows I don't let my kids down. 
So, I mean, I 100% I, I believe that's gonna happen.